The city's former procurement official who disqualified Vita Lounge LLC took the stand today inside of this courtroom. The city also asked the judge to toss this case out of court. The city filed a motion this morning to dismiss the case, arguing Vita Lounge LLC failed to show any evidence of fraud, misconduct by the city's procurement official, or that he acted in bad faith when he disqualified Vita Lounge. But an attorney representing Vita Lounge LLC told the court that's not the case, arguing the city went beyond its bounds disqualifying Vita Lounge and took away the award and board's decision in the dark of night without a hearing. What happened is there was a duly appointed board, duly noticed, four of the six took a vote. After they voted, there was a never an action by the duly constituted board to remove it. Vita Lounge LLC filed suit last summer claiming the CRA improperly and unlawfully disqualified them from an interview, Facebook post, and email which urged members of the community to show up at a selection meeting. On the stand Thursday, the vice president of Vita Lounge, Darren Cummings, testified that they did not violate city lobbying provisions. The city's former procurement official, who disqualified Vita Lounge over those alleged lobbying violations, testified Friday that he believes Cummings did not make contact with the mayor or CRA board members, but had people do it. Darren Cummings, who's sitting at council table, made no contact with the mayor or any CRA members, correct, sir? Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay. However, I took his Facebook posting as seeking other people to do something that he was not able to do. So indirectly, yes, that was a contact in my perspective. Entertainers like Ella Fitzgerald once graced the stage at the sunset, dating back to the 1940s and 50s, which made it a premier African-American entertainment venue at a time of racial segregation. Today, the CRA's nearly $20 million revitalization of the historic venue in the city's northwest neighborhood sits empty and without an operator, costing the CRA about $13,000 a month. The city's procurement official also testified today that it was solely his decision to disqualify Vita and cancel the RFP as well as disqualify another bidder. The judge still hearing the case will let you know what happens. In West Palm Beach, Michael Butchner, WPTV News Channel 5.